Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be love messages for the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of January. Okay? Hope everybody's doing well. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also want to say real quickly, you know, if you have anything negative to say, please don't watch my channel. Just go watch somebody else. Because I'm going to say what I feel, I'm going to say what I pick up, I'm going to say whatever it is I want to say on my channel. If you have an issue with that, please go to another channel. Please don't watch. Unsubscribe. Do whatever you feel you got to do. But don't be, like, miserable. Okay? Because I don't do the back and forth. I don't even entertain It takes a lot for somebody to stand on the platform and do something like this regardless okay because this is basically performing so i don't need you to come on over here with your negativity making comments if i said something that offended you then obviously it, you feel that whatever i'm saying relates to you and that's not my problem you have to take that up with God. So anyway, messages for the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February. Messages for the sign of Gemini, Spirit, God, Angels, Universe, of the White Light. Only messages for the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February, please. Gemini, 10th to the 15th of January. I mean February, sorry. All right, it's time to begin exchanging gifts. Wow. New life. Okay. To be fair in reverse. And then why in reverse? Bottom of the deck, thinker. Okay. So, Gemini. You may be exchanging gifts with someone for Valentine's Day. You may be giving someone a gift here or receiving one. I feel here, Gemini, you want a new life with the new life card. You may be wanting a new life with this person that you want to exchange gifts with or that you're giving a gift to. Okay? But just to be fair in reverse, I'm just hearing that you may be involved with someone and you feel like it's not fair, that you can't really be with the person you want to be with here. You keep asking yourself, why are we just reverse? Am I staying in this situation? Why am I doing this? Not, why am I not going forward to what it is I really want? Why am I staying stagnant? Why am I not making that move? But I feel here, you do want to make some kind of move towards someone here. And I feel like it's not going to feel fair to other people. I'm hearing family, friends, whatever. But it's a decision that you're making for yourself. And people may not understand why with that why in reverse. But it's not for them to understand. It's your life, Gemini, and you have to do what's best for you. You want to get one life to live, make sure that you live it to the fullest. And if other people can't walk with what you're doing, who you are, then those people are not meant to be in your life. So that's just a side note, okay? Let's keep going. Messages for the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February. Please, Spirit God, change your universe. That's the white light. What messages do you have? For the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February, 2021. All right, let's see. Gratitude is down there. So you have, you feeling grateful for something here or for somebody? Okay, let's see what made it out. Learning, okay. What are you learning here, Gemini? What's going on? You may be learning that you your happiness matters here is what I'm hearing. 
that what you want matters, okay? Grounding. Maybe be really learning to ground yourself here. Selenite, just like I got here. Selenite, Lana. Okay, the spiritual awakening. Okay, so you could be waking up to the fact that you want to start a new life here. Maybe with someone here. Take action. Yeah, you're taking action here. Dreams and following your dreams here. Okay. Just period. You've been thinking about this with the thinking card at the bottom of the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Yeah, and observing the situation for a while. And you're ready to take that leap of faith with the come to the edge into a new life. You feel like you have the support from the universe or whoever. And somebody's being left here behind with the orphan card. Because you're going towards your happy place with the happy, happy card. You notice it's time to go the time to go car behind there and you're and you're willing to be flexible and make that move into to, into the new okay yeah you're getting ready to kick out some conflict it may even be with family you're leaving the family behind yeah because you want to build with somebody else in some place you feel like there's no place like home with this person here they're sweet, they're loving, you feel happy with them, they smell good, they're beautiful. You want to go the distance with them. You feel like this could go the distance. You feel like this is your other half. You feel a lot of peace in this relationship. Okay? Yeah, you're making your dreams come true here. You gain the clarity to take action with this take action card, this spiritual awakening card here. You've woken up. Yeah, lovers, again. Lovers, yeah, you're stepping into this abundant new relationship with this person that you feel it will be abundant with. You want to communicate with this person and maybe ask for forgiveness if you did something. Yeah, because you were living in your shadow side here. You want to come out of conflict with the conflict in reverse. You've meditated on the situation. You um, self-love in reverse. You, you've realized that you have to be loving yourself and valuing what you want in your life. You may have even called on the ancestors here with the ancestors for emotional healing here and compassion to help you make um, the right decision here. Peace in reverse because you didn't have peace with your inner child, past life drama, things that happened in the past. Yeah, you weren't leaning on source to heal you. Some of you need to go sit on earth, ground yourself, put your, I heard, put your feet on the ground, dirt, be near water, really, really ground yourself, touch flowers and trees, hug trees, walk in the sand if you're near a beach, put your feet on dirt, walk around in grass, maybe even lay your body down in it if you know the grass is, is clean, okay? But yeah, you're ready for this new life here. I'm picking up that energy very heavy here. You're absolutely 100% ready to go in a different direction here, Gemini, with someone new. And it just so happens that this two of cups is sitting at the bottom of this deck, and the magician is sitting at the bottom of this one. So you're definitely manifesting this new life with this new love here. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> And then the Queen of Wands. So your messages are coming in good here. Very, 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 very clear is what I try. We're trying to say. So let's see. Let's see what messages we get from the deck. Okay, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe of the White Light. What messages do you have for Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February 2021? Messages for the sign of Gemini. What's going on with the Geminians? In love from the 10th to the 15th of February. Please, Spirit Guides, Angels, what's going on with the Geminians from the 10th to the 15th of February 2021? In love, please, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe of the White Light. What messages for Geminis? February 10th to the 15th. I gotta order a new deck here. Let's see here what's going on. Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. You are ready to, you might be getting engaged, I'm hearing, from Valentine's Day. Somebody's proposing here, possibly. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles behind that. Wow. 
Also, you may feel like you may not get justice with this justice in reverse regarding some money here. Okay? You feel like you have your hands tied about a justice system here. Yeah. Maybe about a job. The truth came out here about something. Here about money or a job or something. Okay, let's see. Let's see what comes out here. What do we have for Gemini spirit? 10 to the 15th of February. What do we have for the Gemini? Okay, we had a Knight of Swords that came out reverse. And then the King of Wands in reverse. So the King of Wands was in reverse, the Knight of Swords. This is somebody not, not trustworthy at all that you're dealing with here, Gemini. Or this could be you. The King of Wands in reverse is, that's first of all, somebody that's not taking action. And secondly, somebody that is, you know, could be a cheater, a liar, conniving, underhanded, a sneak. And then the Knight of Swords in reverse is something that's not moving forward here. Okay, somebody wants to make a move, but they're not. And there could also be some harsh words that were exchanged here. Okay. Somebody's being very impulsive and reckless here is what I'm hearing. Very much so. What else? What else? Do you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini. A Libra or an Aquarius. Okay, yeah, let's see what came out. The Six of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups. So, you're wanting to return to a situation here where there may not be a yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, where things may not be moving forward at this time. You may, may be in no communication with this person that you're dealing with, Gemini. But you find this person to be emotional fulfilling for you, a wish fulfillment. And you want to travel... If there's been distance, you, you you can't move on. You want to go back to this person. Okay. You know that this is your person. And yeah, with the hangman behind him and the two of, one, two of cups reversed, it's the ones there was an ending here. In a relationship, but you do want a new beginning. You do have some kind of idea or something that you want to give to this person. Put forward. Okay. What other messages, please? What are the messages for, yeah, three of pentacles? You want to work with this person. So this could be a third-party situation. We'll see. Okay, yeah, the five of swords. Somebody could be lying here or one upping or wanting to win a person. Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. So you could be dealing with a, a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer here. Okay, or water sign. Yeah, seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's giving up on the connection here. They pretty much turned their back. The two of swords. Yep, the chariot and moved on. This person could play too many mind game, games, be in and out, a player, not willing to, to, to sit down, you know, very selfish doing what they want to, to be dealing with a Scorpio. With the death card. Yeah, King of Queen of Swords is in reverse here with the Tempest in reverse. Yeah, somebody is upset here. They feel like something isn't, you know, balanced out the right way. Okay, this Queen of Cups has poured her love out. She could be turning very bitter about this, um, about what's going on here. Okay, let's see. Messages for Gemini. 10 to the 15th of February. Yeah, somebody's moving on here. Or somebody has moved on. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate with the Page of Wands. But it's just the page. It's just flirty, flighty energy. And then you're out, yeah, to this Empress. Okay, could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody who's very beautiful, stable, comfortable, very abundant in every way. Sovereign on, over all the queens in deck. She embodies all of them. The Empress. The Four of Pentacles and the Tower. So, yeah, there's a, there, this is probably a third-party situation because, for sure because there's two queens here. 
so one queen um i'm feeling okay i'm getting the story now a little better okay somebody could be in a relationship here that they're not happy in there's no love there's no passion there's arguing nasty words but then there's somebody else that a person finds as their wish fulfillment beautiful like i said the empress they look at their photos the empress in the page of wands this is somebody that is gorgeous physically beauty body is gorgeous hair and nails they just keep up with themselves very healthy very abundant very comfortable in themselves you know what i'm saying and with the nine um nine of cups very beautiful wish fulfillment and then there's this queen of cups here that is upset or jealous that this person wants this, this this king of wands in reverse wants to move it toward this this empress here this person is holding on to this empress they're giving up a fight they're willing to hold on and fight for this empress in this relationship they want to move forward with this person but they can't they're they're not making a decision with the two of swords they're not they're not moving Okay, what's the message for Gemini? What's the message for Gemini? Yeah, six of cups. This could be someone from your past. Let's want to come back in, Gemini. Yeah, ace of swords and communicate a reconciliation here for sure. It could definitely be some kind of proposal. They could want to propose to this person in their past. Yeah, four of cups. But they're not sure if this person is going to accept this offer here and then the, I feel like this empress wants the truth about a situation here okay yeah two of cups but it came out reversed so there was a breakup here a split between two soulmates here but somebody wants to return could be ready with a Scorpio here heavy I'm picking up Scorpion Energy, Taurus, Gemini, and Libra. Let's keep going. What's the messages for the Gemini? 10th to the 15th of January. Yeah, it's the cups. They want this new love. This person wants to tell you that they love you, maybe for the first time. I'm picking up an engagement. Yeah, the moon. They have fears behind doing this, though. Okay? Yeah, start in reverse. They're not feeling hopeful or confident about making this move for some reason. Yeah, but they want to. Knight of Cups, as somebody who wants to wine and dine you, somebody may write you a poem, beautiful poem here with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords, or send you a playlist of music and just tell you how much they mean to you, how they've been holding this emotion in for so long. We have the Two of Cups of Star in the Moon. This is that moon that this is definitely... A twin flame soulmate connection and then the emperor is here so this person could be a father yeah the higher font it could be married or this person this person could already be married yes with the emperor and the higher font be a father here i knew the ace of pentacles was coming out and the high priestess yeah so there could be a mistress here that this person wants to propose so they actually want to be with their mistress not the person that they are currently with and with the justice here but it wants to come out reverse so but yeah with the justice here reverse i feel like this person doesn't feel it's justified that they're not with the person they're supposed to be with and it also may be karmically meant to happen that this person leaves the person that they're currently with and moves forward because they really really want to here they think about it. That's all they think about. Messages for Gemini, please. 10th to the 15th of February. We're going to take these last cards that come out, okay? Bottom of the deck is seven of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is tired of waiting. Okay, somebody is tired of holding back here. We have the fool, yeah. They want In the ten of wands, somebody wants to drop this burden, the temperance, and return to the past. Queen of Swords and speak the truth about how they feel about another person. They're tired of waiting with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're ready for their dreams to come true. They've been thinking about this for quite some time here. 
And somebody is just ready to go into this new life with the new life card up there. They've grounded their self. They're opening their self up more spiritually or at least trying to. Learning to be more spiritual and listening to their intuition more here with the high priestess. Okay. Could be dealing with the Pisces. But somebody wants to take action with the take action card here. They're tired of asking themselves why they haven't did this or how they're going to do this or what. They're just ready to take that leap of faith with the fool. Messages for the sign of Gemini from the um, 10th to the 15th of January. There's also a Queen of Swords here, so it could be two. It could be two women and a mother. A mother could be involved here too. But this is a true pair with the Emperor and the Empress here. Okay, this is a true soulmate connection. There's an outsider, a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Swords. So there could be more than there could be more than. Uh, two, there could be three women in some of you guys' cases, or two women and a mother. You know how it applies, you know what's going on in your life, Gemini. But yeah, this is a true love connection here with the Temperance, Two of Cups, Star in the Moon. Okay, and the Empress and the Emperor messages for the sign of Gemini, 10th to the 15th of February. What's this, honeymoon and soulmate? Yeah, what messages do you have? For Gemini, 10th to the 15th of February, Gemini, 10th to the 15th of January, please, Gemini. Okay, that's all I'm going to take for that deck. We have religious factors. Yeah, so like I said, somebody could be married here, and that could be what the, what the issue is. They need to leave the situation, but there's no passion in it with the passion in reverse. Okay, they want to express their love to their true love that they know they have. A past life connection with that they want to get to know. So we have the soulmate card out, reconciliation card out, give your relationship a chance card out, and unrequited love. Okay, but that won't come out reverse. So I feel like this person knows that this person is their soulmate. They want to move toward them. They want to reconcile with them. They want to give the relationship a chance. They want to work on the relationship. Okay. They really do. And with the Six of Cups and the Reconciliation, this is somebody from your past for sure. Somebody that you're not in communication with. But you were, you can you can be for sure that this is your soulmate. And like I said, somebody may want to propose on Valentine's Day. So if I messed up the surprise, I'm sorry. But yeah, somebody has deep emotions and deep love for somebody that just won't go away. And they know that they have to act on the situation here. So let's get a couple of cards from... The um, Island Wellness deck for my Gemini's. Gemini's in love from the 10th to the 15th of February. Gemini's in love, 10th to the 15th of February. Please, Spirit God's angels, universe of the light. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini from the 10th to the 15th of February, please? In love. Okay, we have heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, this person is missing you a lot. They feel heartbroken without you. That was too many. Yeah, they feel heartbroken without you here on um, Gemini. They really want to be back around you in your presence. I'm hearing they want to smell your hair, smell your body, touch your skin. Girl with a snake, empathy, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed to use, enable boundaries, okay? So somebody could have been a snake in the past. And now they want to come in and rectify that. Yeah, seduction wants to come out reverse. Um, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to be a part of a third-party situation here. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yeah, somebody comes in, says how much they love a person, how much they mean to them, and then they disappear. They're out. Like a thief in the night. But they stole that pussy. Okay. Love call in reverse. It says someone expresses love and message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So somebody um, is not expressing their love and then I like you when you first. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, flirting, wanting to date. So they could be a little hesitant about calling or calling you or don't know what to say. They may not know if you feel the same way anymore. Okay. And then we have hand of cards. 
that came out reverse. Take a chance, risk being strategic options, not showing hand gambling. Yes, yeah, so they they want to take this risk really, really bad. They want this new love, this new life, but they're just not moving. It says the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So, yeah. The girl with a snake, a snake. You, you have a snake you're dealing with amongst you. So you have to be careful. Somebody's a snake here. That's not going to keep coming out for no reason. And then we have consent. Um, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over, over in head, and then healing heart. That's the reverse. It's healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, they're not freeing themselves from another situation in order to move forward with the person that they want to move forward toward. They just don't have the balls to do it at this time. You know, Gemini? So you just gotta basically do you. And it says, not today at the bottom of the day. Not, de um, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call, person boundaries, still angry. So you could be trying to reach out to this person and they're not really responding because they don't want to deal. You might have been malicious in the past five, um, five of swords to did something malicious or just said some fucked up shit or anything. And this person is just like, I don't know. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Gemini. This went way over time. Um, make sure to leave your comments and hit that like button, please. Subscribe for sure. Please subscribe, 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 and help my channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.